my name is Vinay Balaji and welcome to another professional prep video. In today's professional prep video, we will be talking about L'Hopital's rule. Um, I'll write it down here. It is, um, there's going to be an accent on the, on the O, but just because I don't have the international keyboard, I'll just keep it like this. So that is L'Hopital's rule. I'll make that a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, cool. So basically, you must got you guys probably wondering what is L'Hopital's rule. Um, so basically, I'm gonna define it here for you guys. Um, so basically, if the limit is in, indeterminate, indeterminate, um, basically turn the the function slash limit into a fraction and take the derivative of the numerator numerator oh that's for, I probably can't see that of the numerator denominator all right so basically you take the um, derivative of the top and bottom of the fraction uh, separately separately okay I cannot type but it's okay um and basically you just keep repeating uh separately all right later. um so repeat this process until you can use direct substitution into the limit all right so basically what i know i'm saying basically a lot but uh what you do is say if you're given a function um i think the best way to learn about this is by an example so let's just dive into one so let's just do the oh and uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, that would cool. All right, so say we have the limit. Okay, maybe that's too big. I'll make it a little bit smaller, guys. Uh, here, let's go with like two. All right, so let's say we have the limit of x to infinity. All right, yeah, so we have the limit of x, of x to infinity, and this will be of, hmm, let's go with e to the x, uh, x to the fourth. So one of the first things that most people do when they see a limit is they try direct substitution. So basically, they just plug this into x, plug this into x, and when you do this, e to the infinity is going to be a really big number. So let's just round that to infinity. And then infinity to the fourth is obviously going to be infinity. So we're going to get infinity over infinity. And what this is called is the indeterminate form. Put a text box right here. Indeterminate. All right. So that is the indeterminate form right here. Um, one other possibility of the indeterminate form could be, uh, zero over zero. So it could be either one of these. It could be infinity over infinity or zero over zero. That is the indeterminate form. Whenever that is the case, you can use L'Hopital's rule. Basically, I'd last it defined here. You turn this into a fraction, which it already is. You take the derivative of the numerator and denominator separately. So in, let's just complete this problem. So in our case, um, it will be the limit of x goes approaching infinity. And the derivative of e to, f, e to the x is still e to the x. And... Uh, x to the fourth, the derivative of that is 4x, uh, wait, no, um, 4x cubed, all right, let's go here, all right, this is an x, so it's e to the x over 4x cubed, and after that, you'd plug in, um, infinity here, infinity here, and that will still give us infinity. So this would straight up be infinity. 
and you'd continue, I would say, like, as many times as you want, but typically after your third time you continue, you'd generally know whether the limit would be infinity or zero or any other possibility. So let's just continue on with this problem. Um, let's just do limit of x infinity. And this will continue to be e to the x. And then this will turn into 12x squared according to the power rule. And you keep doing this and you're going to get infinity. So now you can get the general pattern that um, if you keep going, you'll keep getting infinity. Let's continue even. Like, let's go to e to the x. That'll be 24x. This is still going to be infinity. Uh, always good to have proper notation. All right, there we go. So this is the final answer to the problem, which is infinity, unfortunately. But for many other examples, you will get a clear solution. L'Hopital's rule is sort of rare because not all limits will turn into an indeterminate form or uh, 0 over 0, which is also indeterminate form. So whenever you get an indeterminate form, just keep doing L'Hopital's rule until you get a solution. Um, so this is the process of L'Hopital's rule. Unfortunately, the example I gave you today um, gave you infinity. But trust me, if you do any most other examples, you should get a number. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, Rick, Rick and I are more than happy to help you. Um, other than that, please like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a really good day.